Hey guys, I wanted to come on here to show you this pretty cross stitch washcloth pattern. Um, I had used this same stitch to make my son's blanket and I thought it would be cute to make some washcloths out of it and I love it and I love the texture of the cross stitch and the stitches that you will need to know how to do is chain, single crochet and double crochet and that's it. So if you're a beginner this will be a great project to to do it's quick it's easy it's fun to make you will need um a g hook tapestry needle scissors and of course your four ply yarn today i'm using peaches of cream in this color because when i attempt to make it in another color i have white in it and i was going to use this color at first but then the white was blending in with the background of my on um, board so yeah let's get started we're gonna start with a slip knot We're going to chain 33, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33. Thirty-three. So now we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and single crochet in each stitch across for a total of 32 stitches. So you want to skip. No, it's not focusing. Focus, focus, focus. You want to skip this stitch. And you want to go right there to the next stitch. And do a single crochet. And I will meet you back. Now we're going to be doing row two. We're going to just turn our work. We're going to skip this stitch. We're going to double crochet in this stitch, this stitch, and this stitch. And then we're going to come back to the stitch that we skipped. And we're going to double crochet in that. We're going to skip this stitch and we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. We're going to double crochet in the next. And we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to go back to that stitch right here. The very first stitch right there right here so sometimes you might gotta turn your work like this sideways so you know the stitch that you skip and it's more easier for me to do it that way so I just you see how the work is like this so I just turn it like this on this corner just to get to this right here and you're gonna go in get get your yarn 
and pull up a little and then you're going to do a double crochet and that's how you make your stitch and we're going to repeat so this is the next stitch right here right here is your next stitch and then you're going to repeat you're going to skip that one go to the next one one two and three And now we're just going to go back to the one that we skipped. Now it's a little bit more easier to say. The corners are always going to be difficult <laughs> to say, in my opinion. And we're just going to go right there in that stitch. So if you got to turn your work sideways, you can. And just go right in there. Pull up a little. So you just made your next cross stitch. Now you're going to repeat that all the way across. So this is my next stitch right here that I'm going to skip. I'm going to go to the next one and do a double crochet. Go to the next one, double crochet. Go to the next one double crochet and then come back to the stitch that I skipped and do a double crochet in there and pull up a little okay guys so I'm about to do my last two stitches. Well, actually three stitches. So I'm going to do a double crochet right here and a double crochet in that stitch right here. Yep. This is why I get my nails cut. <laughs> I don't know what was I thinking just getting a refill without cutting my nails. okay so now we just have to do that cross stitch right here see now we're going to chain one turn our work Okay, this stitch right here counts as your your um your first single crochet so we're gonna go to the next stitch and just single crochet and then you're gonna single crochet in each stitch all the way across for a number of 32 stitches and now we're going to turn our work Skip. Now do a double crochet. Go to the next stitch. Double crochet. Next stitch. And to have the guide, if you notice, everything is going to match up. You see how it's matching up? So let's just say if you did skip that stitch, you would have been over here and it wouldn't have matched it wouldn't have matched up with your cross stitch in the bot on the bottom. So if you need a guideline, you can follow your guide from the bottom. You see how it's right here? Now I'm about to do my cross stitch. Sorry if they if I'm on a camera let me fix my yarn 
Okay. So you see how it's meshing up? Sorry if I was off camera. But you see how it's meshing up? Now, we're going to go to the next one. We're going to skip. We're going to skip. Then, one single crochet in the next three stitches and go back to that skip stitch and do our last double crochet in that stitch. matching up now you're going to just repeat that all the way across Okay guys, so you see everything is lining up correctly. I'm gonna chain. We're gonna turn our work and we're gonna single crochet any stitch all the way across. And we're just going to keep on repeating back and forth. Um, row two and row, and row um, three. This will be your last step. Meaning 22, row 22, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. But when we get to each corner, we're going to put three single crochets in those stitch. So we're just going to turn our work to our side and just do a single crochet anywhere you can put um, your stitch. So now we reached a corner. We're going to put three single crochets into that corner. And this is my third one. Now that tail that we had from the beginning, we're just going to weave that through so that will be one less thing we have to worry about weaving in at the end. So we're going to go right here and just single crochet. We're going to single crochet all the way around. Until we get to the next corner. And then in the next corner, we're just going to do three single crochets. I mean, this is my go to pattern for washcloths, and I just wrote it down and yeah, it's, it's really easy. I found this stitch on Lion Brand um, a while back, like when I was beginning um, 
my journey into the crochet world <laughs> and um, I fell in love with the stitch and I tried to put it in any pattern that I can put it in. I made a hat, a scarf, um, my son's blanket and now wash balls with it. Sorry the fan is blowing but I hope y'all can hear me. Let me try to turn this off because the fan was on high and I'm sorry about that but it's hot in Philly so I have the fan right here next to me and I totally forgot the fan was on to be honest I tried to turn it off so we're coming to our corner And then three double crochets into that corner. And you want to repeat that until you get to your last um, corner, which will be this corner. Once you get to that last corner, you will just have to draw up a loop, and cut, and weave all ends, yeah. and you will have this pretty washcloth. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. And I hope to bring more tutorials for y'all. Thanks so much. Peace, love, and happy crocheting. God bless. Bye.